Hey guys, hope you are doing good and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to try to calculate the IPL 2022 points table using SQL. Okay, I have the data already for the 70 matches that are played. I have the match number, the team one, team two and the winner of the match. For instance, game one was played between CSK and KKR and the winner of the match was KKR. I've taken this data from Crickinfo, okay, using web scraping. I will teach you how to get this data using Python in another video. But for now, we have the data from Crickinfo of the you know results of each of the matches. So game one, CSK played KKR and KKR won. Similarly, I have the results for all the 70 matches, okay. This is step number one. Now, using this, we are going to try to arrive at a points table like this. Like Gujarat played 14 matches, they won 10, lost 4 points code was 20 okay we're gonna get to something like this that will be the goal of the video so let's start trying it out okay let's first check what was the results of csk like okay so csk just be careful here csk can be team one sometimes and it can be team two also sometimes so when you put a condition you'll have to use a var statement with an or clause okay so let's see what happened with csk's matches so we'll say where team 1 equal to CSK, okay, case number 1, or team 2 equal to CSK, okay, let's check what we get, so you see first game CSK, KKR, KKR 1, then the next CSK game, CSK played Lucknow Super Giants, again Lucknow 1, then third game Punjab CSK, again Punjab 1, so first four games CSK lost, their fifth game, basically CSK versus RCB, CSK 1, right. So wherever CSK won, we have the value CSK here, okay. They won, I think, only four games as you see here, one, two, three, and four, okay. So this is how it looks for one team, all right. Now, if you wanted to do it for all teams, how do we get started, okay. As you see here, some cases, team one can be the match winner, as you see here, okay. In some cases, team two can be the match winner. In this case, team two SRH is the match winner. So we'll have to try to do both these conditions separately and then probably do an union of them. Anyway, let's try it step by step, okay? So first I will say, let me say match num, okay? Let me first do it for team one, okay? We'll select team one and we'll say if of team one, okay? Team one value matches the winner value. Then I will give it two points, okay? Because a win in IPL gives you two points, so I'll put it two, if not zero, okay. I'll say this is as points, okay. So if team one was the winner, it will be given two points. If not, it'll be given zero points, okay. This is the first step. Let's see what is happening. Now, yeah, as you see here, in first game, team one was CSK. If you remember CSK, KKR, KKR one, so CSK got zero points, okay. That is how this full table is calculated. Similarly, instead of team 1, if I put team 2 here, okay, and if team 2 equal to match winner, uh, then we give 2 points, if not 0, right? This is to check for cases where team 2 has won or lost. If I run that, again, first game KKR played CSK, KKR won, so they get 2 points, alright? Now, if we have to combine both two together, what we can do? We can use the union. So, I will say team 1. And if team one equal to winner, okay, this is one case. And I will simply say union and literally copy the same query. Okay, let me just drag this a little bit down. And here I will just change it to team two. And if team two equal to winner here, right? And since we are doing a union, we'll give it a common name. I'll say as team and I will use the same thing here, okay? Let's see what we get now. So now, we will get basically for all the match nouns for team one, as you see here, like from one to 60, 70, okay. And as you see, we get basically 140 rows because from here, the team two data starts, right? So once we got to this point, now we know the team column has the name of the team and the result in each of their games, okay? Now it becomes pretty straightforward. What can we do? We can put this whole thing in a CT with statement. I'll say with overall as, okay, I'll give it overall uh, alias name. I will just 
close the bracket here and now what we can do we can select team comma let's try sum of points okay that will give us the total from overall group by team and now if you see here we basically get uh, CSK got 8 points, MA got 8 points, KKR got 12, all that. Okay, so we're getting the points. So if we compare CSK got 8, MA got 8, going back to our points table, we see CSK got 8, MA got 8. So our logic is working. But what if we wanted to see the matches played, one lost and all, okay. So this is, sum of points can be say the total points, okay. But before that, what if I wanted to add the number of matches? For number of matches, we could simply do count star from overall. So we will know for each team how many matches they played, right? That will be count of star. To count the number of wins, so wherever, going back to the overall query, right? Wherever, if I run this again, one second. So wherever the team won, they got two points. Wherever they lost, they got zero points, right? So what we could do here is, so if, points equal to 2 then let's count it as a win we'll say comma 1 comma 0 as wins right step number one step number two if points equal to 0 then we put 1 comma 0 as loss so if, if it's 0 we count it as a loss okay and then that's it comma and then we have points okay all this from overall overall is basically uh, which statement table and overall contains this data which I showed you, okay? And that's about it, group by team. Now let's run it. So now we get, actually we should do some if, right? Because if we say if, it will only show the first row and we are doing aggregation. So we have to do a sum if. And uh, yeah, let me put a bracket here and let's do a sum if here as well. And let's see. And now we get CSK 1, 4, last 10, total points 8, okay. Finally, to order by points, we can simply say order by total points descending. And now we get, so Gujarat Titans 20 points, LSG 18, RR 18, RCP 16, then so on. Like rest of the points table is set as you see, okay. If we compare this with the table, see Gujarat Titans 20 points, Rajasthan Royals 18, Lucknow Super Giants 18, that is the same thing we are getting here, right? So we've been able to do it. Only difference is here you see Rajasthan is second, Lucknow is third because of the net run rate. And we are not doing net run rate here. That is why that order is not proper, but at least we got the points properly. In future video, we will try to see how to, you know, calculate net run rate as well. Okay. So just to recap, basically what did we do here? So first, we try to use team one, see if that team one got the data for points. We did the same thing for team two, okay. Then we put all of them in a with clause. And then from that overall statement or overall with table, we did a count of star for the matches, sum of points as total points. And for win loss, so if the team one, we know it had two points. So if points was two, we give it one value one. So we are incrementing the wins. Same thing for losses. If points is zero, then we give one, if not zero, okay? And by doing this, we got to the final result, okay? I hope you enjoyed the video. I will see you again in another video. Till then, take care.